HIV artist. This is Miss A. I'm here introducing a series of videos. So for this series of videos, I'm interviewing a variety of people. Most of these people were my ex-students. Some of them are practicing artists that I've met along the way. And uh, really, these videos are here to inspire you. They are here to show you where you can take your art education. Not all of you will become artists, but I feel that you know art is really, really important no matter what you end up doing later on in life. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really, really enjoy these. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. That inspires us to do more videos that are hopefully of interest to you. This is Miss A. All the best. Hi, my name is Nathaniel Meyer. I'm a painter based out of Portland, Maine. Um, I also teach drawing and painting. Uh, that too. Well, that's a pretty short jump. Uh, I went to, uh, I got my bachelor's degree in painting and my master's degree in visual arts and that's, that's pretty much what I do, it's what I teach. Um, yeah. I think art education is important because it teaches you how to see. Um, I think that people who have a very strong foundation in visual arts are able to see subtle changes of value and color that uh, that normal people can't see. And it's, uh, it's like a superpower that nobody really cares about. Um, but we care about it, and it doesn't make it any less magical uh, that um, it's not valued as much as it should be. The transition from high school to university was a pretty easy one. Uh, you go from, from a situation where most of your classes are chosen for you uh, to, well, I went to art school, so it was maybe a little different than, than your standard university, but I was just taking art classes for the most part. Um, and so I was able to focus on the things that I love doing, and that was pretty great. Um, that being said, I probably worried my entire time in college back of my head that will I be doing this five years out of school? Do I have that kind of resilience, stick to that, uh, that that is required to, to kind of keep doing this? Um, and it's something I always worried about. Uh, and then I mean, you just do it for long enough and all of a sudden you just, you just don't really think about it anymore. Um, but I remember having that anxiety uh, when I was in school. Um, what I would say is that actually the transition from university to the real world is a much more difficult one uh, because you're going from a situation where everyone around you cares deeply about art. It's what you talk about in school. It's what you talk about in parties. Uh, you know, that's just, it's your whole life kind of revolves around it. And then you leave and you realize that most people don't really care about it, not the way that you do. Um, and so that's a little bit weird, and I think that's why it's so important to kind of uh, establish and foster a community of people that are into it, um, and, you know, to kind of uh, keep you from just, from art being something that you used to do. What I would say to uh, students studying art in high school right now is uh, focus as much as you can on observational work. Um, I think that no matter what uh, avenue of art you're going to go into, observational work will make you better at it. It will help every single aspect of your art making. Uh, and usually, I mean, especially in terms of getting into schools, uh, most of what they're looking for in portfolio reviews is kind of a raw display of skill. Uh, they have an idea that they are the ones that are going to teach you uh, the big stuff and they want to make sure that you have those requisite skills to be able to understand what they are going to be teaching you so You know, there's a million ways to fake other stuff, but it's way more difficult to fake observational work so in terms of like portfolios uh, And whatnot, I would say observational work like lean heavy 
into that. Um, and you know, it'll just make you better quicker, and that's that's what we're into. Um, that that's about it, I think. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out uh, to me on my website, and I will reply to you about them. Awesome. Take it easy.